Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and welcome to Thriftfest Day 1. Today we're at Value Village, of course. It's one of my favorites. We always get really good things when we go here and it's actually Black Friday today. So I do think it's gonna be really busy, but I also do have coupons so you win some and you lose some. I'm gonna be looking for winter things. I really wanna go in the skirts. Other than that, we're gonna be looking for lots of cool vintage pieces. So let's go inside and see what we can find. So I was just about to leave, but I'm in the sleeveless tops and the vest, and I did the blazers. But look at this sweet little vintage orange sleeveless top. It's so cute. We're moving on to the sweaters. Always a good section. I love this vintage belted sweater vest with like a turtleneck. It's missing a belt though. I have so many of these little Tommy Hilfiger three quarter zips. Do I need another? I don't know. I think this is an off the shoulder top and I think those tops are so cute, but this is like a polyester rayon blend. So I don't think I'm gonna get it. So I found myself a little green Reitman's double zip. That's cotton and another little wool, wool Wilfred sweater. That's hard to say, that's a tongue twister. This little vintage sweater is incredible. I feel like it would be really cute with like mid-rise jeans. We did so good in the sweaters. My cart is literally full. Um, moving on to the long sleeve blouses and this section is actually really short. Sh really short, it will take like a second to go through. This feels like silk, but I'm not 100% sure. It is. So we have made it to the cardigans and the sweaters. I don't really know what we're looking for, winter things. I feel like these tiny little thin cardigans are really coming back. I just looked behind me and this color caught my eye and it's vintage wool and mohair. It's really cute. Once again, I turned around and there's this cute little Angora um, purple sweater. Purple isn't my most favorite color, but I actually really like this. I want to try it on and see if it fits. I love the pattern of this little wool cardigan. Cart has gotten even fuller. We're in the long sleeve knits now, and this is cute little wool Tommy Hilfiger sweater. But I don't think I'm going to get it because we already have so many great things in the cart. Peplum is back, so this is tempting, but um, the tags says keep away from fire, and I never think that's a very good idea to get. I was just doing a drive-by of these put-away racks, because this is new, and look at this pink wool sweater. It's so cute. It feels very Princess Diana. I love finding things that look like they were donated by the same person, because this and this look really similar. I am really excited to go through Last time I was here, I got two really cute wool skirts that I love, so let's take a look. Excuse me. Do you see this leather skirt? It is so cute. This skirt's little belt is the cutest thing I've ever seen, and I love the color. It's made in Australia, which is also cool, but I feel like it's kind of too small on me. Holy crap, look at this mohair skirt. It's incredible. I need to look the tag down for this mohair, but I'm Can sure I it is. You? Beautiful. Literally incredible. I have literally all the best stuff. Let's go to the shoes. I totally forgot about the winter dresses. Winter dresses first and then the accessories. Hmm. 
These are the dresses I found. None of them are winter themed. This one is vintage yellow. Brand is Tryon and it was made in Montreal. It also has a union tag on it. And this beautiful 100% linen one, it's purple and J. Crew. And finally, this gorgeous white tiered one that I love, but it's got insane stains on it. I'm kind of thinking about trying to get a price reduction and seeing if I can just bleach it because it's white. You know what I mean? I think it's pretty cute. We're in the purses now. I already have a bag basically like this, but it's Banana Republic, so I probably shouldn't get two. It is cute though. Went through the purses, didn't find too much. Now we're in the boots. Look at these. Harley Davidson, like, block heeled shoes. They're so sick. And they look like basically new. Curse my wide feet. My cart is extremely full and we didn't even go to the gym. It's time to make decisions. Okay, so we're back home now. I have everything right there and I think this is a really good haul. I think this might be one of my best hauls ever. Let's get into it. First up, I found this turtleneck. I love it so much. It's like this built-in turtleneck in like a v-neck sweater. It's got brown stripes and it's got like a built-in belt holder, but it didn't come with the belt, which is really upsetting. So I had to wear this leather one, although I feel like a knitted one would look the best. I'm wearing it with these low-rise brown jeans and I think it looks kind of cute. And I wore it both with and without the belt on top because the brown pants also have a built-in belt. It's weird just having like two belts right beside each other. Feels very 60s. I love these wide sleeves. I love the high turtleneck. The brand is 714 Boutique and it was made by Sears. It's 100% acrylic, which I don't love, but I got it just because I love the style of it so much. I feel like it's so unique. I feel like you can't really buy things like this in the store anymore. It has very much like an après ski vibe, very 60s, 70s. I feel like I've seen vintage photos from that time with this like exact shirt style. So I'm pretty happy that we found it. Next up, we got this orange tank top. I love the cowl neck at the very top. I love the colors in it. It's like an orangey white. Um, and then it has like a mohair look to it, but I don't think there's mohair if I remember correctly. Okay, there's like 30% wool. It's not the best blend, but I thought the style was really, really cute. It's also kind of vintage. The brand is Accomplice, which is hilarious. I feel like it was probably made in like the early 2000s or like the 90s. The style it actually was very 90s. And I know it's really simple, but sometimes simple is best. I'm wearing these black trousers and then those black high-heeled boots and then those mini sunglasses to make it feel more 90s. I feel like wearing sunglasses instantly makes an outfit look just cooler and depending on the shape, you can really anchor it to an era. I love how cropped it is. I feel like it hits me at a really good spot at my waist and I feel like it would look good with so many things. Skirts, pants, layering dresses underneath. So, you know, I think just a lot of things would look really good with this top, so I'm glad we got it. Next up, we got this green Lacoste long sleeve. I love finding Lacoste at the thrift store. I found a couple pieces, but I haven't really got any till this one. So this is my first one. I really like the green color and it has like a cute little dark green trim around the edge. When it comes to styling something casual like this, I feel like sometimes if you mix it with something that is the complete opposite to it, like this black fringe skirt, then I think it looks really cool. I also tried it more casually with these light wash mid-rise pants and ballet flats, but I didn't love it. I feel like it didn't come off very great on camera and it's kind of boring. Back to the top itself, it is so comfortable and stretchy and soft. I really like it. I feel like I'll be wearing it a lot. Moving on, I got this green vest. It's light green and dark green stripes, and someone has handmade it, which I love. I feel like it looks so good. They did a really good job. I love how high the neckline is and how wide the shoulders are. Like, they kind of peek over top of my shoulders, and I feel like it elevates the look. For styling this, I channeled my inner Pinterest Scandinavian girl, and I wore these white billowy pants and this white collared shirt underneath, but I didn't pop out the collar, and I feel like that is a key with this kind of style. Or else you look a little bit too schoolgirl. The other way I decided to style it was a little bit different it was with this blue skirt and then these black accessories and I feel like the colors were fun but it was also a lot there's something that feels kind of Alice in Wonderland about it but I really wanted to pair this green with another color because I feel like it has so much potential and I really do feel like it is such a Pinterest vest 
Next up, we got this pink sweater. Now this sweater is interesting because it's from St. Andrews, which I'm pretty sure is where Prince William and Princess Kate met, I think. It says, officially approved by the championship committee of the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews. And then it has this nice stitching on the front and it says, open golf championships, 1991, Royal Brookdale. I think it's really cool that I found it. I think it's 100% wool. The way I decided to style it was with these obnoxiously high dark wash jeans and then tuck them in. It's actually pretty soft for a wool and I really like all the colors in it. And I think it's so interesting, so I'm really glad that I got it. And I feel like it would look also really cute with a skirt. And finally, I got this mohair skirt. I love the colors in this plaid. It's brown, blue, and black. The brand is Wool with Mohair, um, made in England, which is really cool. And then there's this other Young Ideas tag. I really love all the textures in this. I think it's so interesting. The way I decided to style it was with this brown button-up silk top backwards um, and then tied up in the back and then a black belt with these black boots. Um, I feel like the brown in the top really brings out the brown and the colors in the skirt, and I like wearing it backwards because I feel like it's just a little bit more interesting. I do feel like I could have done more with this, but oh well, I do really like how this skirt fits me. I think it fits me really good around the waist, and I like how long it is. It's a perfect length for those boots. The only crappy thing is it's missing half the lining, but that's okay. It's still very cool, and I feel like it'll look really good with like some black tops, some brown tops, some blue tops. So anyways, that was everything I got for Thriftmas Day 1. I feel like we did really good. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. If I had to choose my favorite, I think it would be... Um, honestly, I think that v-neck turtleneck combo that has brown and white stripes was my favorite. Anyways, don't forget to check out my store Blue Genoa because how about the Harley Davidson shoes? I will be selling them. They were just a little bit too small for me. The color and the leather and the square toe and the silver details are so nice. I think I'll sell them for about 50 bucks. Really cute block heel, sturdy, in really good condition, so check that out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Swiftmas. Bye.